what's up welcome and welcome back to my channel okay so i am currently at the laundromat i literally live like across the street from it so yeah we have to go do some laundry wash the young lingerie you know what i'm saying um and then i also have to do my taxes right now you guys i still have yet to do them but my family has been using this um this one guy who does taxes um at his house but he's like a professional so i'm gonna go to him his fee is like a hundred dollars so that is not bad yeah i literally just went to walgreens and i'm sorry to say literally a lot my sister's like you say that word a lot i'm like much business so at walgreens i did get some makeup removers just because um after like a long ass night you guys i hate having makeup on like during work i sweat like crazy but you know your girl has that good foundation so it stays on so the sweat like dries over it and it's so disgusting so yeah we have to get these wipes they are i think these are like two which these are two packs um it was less than ten dollars at walgreens so yeah i gotta cop these and they're actually pretty good they're the off-brand walgreens but they're still really really good um had to pack some gum because y'all already know okay guys so i just pulled up to my old club um i do still work here but i think i'm gonna just end up quitting i don't know we're gonna see oh my god there's a fucking bug on my windshield okay. um so i think i am just going to end up staying at my new club because i make more and you know i like it so far so yeah um i'm not gonna tell them right now though just because i am still like working here today today is tuesday so we're gonna see how it goes <clears throat> just because um my other club is closed on tuesdays and yeah Ooh, what the heck <sighs> okay so we're gonna see how today goes i have my little starbucks coffee right here y'all already know the biz oh i just fucking hit myself <laughs> what the hell okay <clears throat> all right we're gonna we gonna get to it hopefully today is a good day but you know i don't think it's going to be but just like extra cash is always you know a good thing okay you guys so i literally just got home not too long ago as you can see i love crusty dusty musty i really wanted to go to target to get some stuff um just like some um uh, some shower supplies maybe like some why well, i just got some new razors so like um 
like a new body scrub, some new shampoo I can leave over there at um, my new club since their bathroom and their shower is like so clean, like I trust it, you know. Um, Some shower shoes as well because we don't trust them that much, nah. But yeah, just like a basic shower stuff Um, because literally when I get off work, I just want to take a shower. Like that is the best feeling, coming home and taking a shower and then counting all your money like you feel like a queen rich bitch now <laughs> dude my snake plant is growing so fast look at this my room is kind of a mess y'all uh, but this is a snake plant so the leaves are actually turning black that's how it goes um but this one is green and look how long it is now wow that's like the longest one i don't know how but ever since i put this rose quart right there my plan has been going crazy so i don't know i don't know i don't know but maybe that has something to do with it but yeah you guys i'm pretty much just going to take a shower and yeah maybe take a little nap and then i do have work later on today so we're gonna see how that goes but i wanted to tell you guys okay so check it out i want to get something done okay i want to get something done and i think i'm gonna get it done so if i get it done i don't want you guys judging me okay no nah, um i mean at the end of the day you can't give a fuck about what people say or think about you like literally none of that is going to matter you know it's never going to matter actually like that's why i am the way i am because i don't care what anybody thinks or says about me i mean I honestly don't hear anything negative about me or anything like that but you know people talk behind closed doors but you know we shall see but besides this one person this one person had the audacity y'all the audacity to text my people and kind of like basically snitch like oh did you know Jennifer's oh did you know she's a stripper like okay and then and then like come on now come on nobody cares nobody cares okay because you know at the end of the day this is your life you know you're gonna do what you want to do you're gonna do what you're going to do and that's it i don't know why people are so worried about me i don't know why this female is so fucking worried because you broke and that's like the only reason i could think of you broke and you mad so I mean, you know, <clears throat> I am very humble, you guys. I will say I am a very humble person. But it's just the fact that when people, especially like how they come in, like you really going to come like that. Like you're going to text my people and be like, oh, she's a stripper. Did you know? Like everybody knows. Everybody. I mean, even people who don't know me know because I am very open about it because honestly, stripping sounds so bad and before i got into this like industry or whatever i always say industry because i remember someone was like it's not even an industry but technically it is so mind your business no nah. but it's really not bad all you're doing is dancing that's it you know like i don't i don't see the problem with it and i'm making stacks okay i'm making what a person minimum wage myself i'm gonna i'm gonna use myself an example okay i used to work for dcfs right and i used to work overtime a lot you guys a lot a lot and it would take away from my personal life you know my mom life you guys know i'm a mom so i would literally have to work 135 hours plus and i'm not playing with you guys i would work 135 hours a check okay a check and there's a point to where i worked was it three days three days in a row okay and they have like showers and everything there so you know i literally work three days in a row 24 hours 24 hours 24 hours without clocking out that's how much i worked like i really worked and anybody who really knows me knows how much i grind i grinded before even becoming a stripper like oh uh, my baby daddy funny as hell but yeah like anybody who knows me personally knows that let me sit you guys down because i'm gonna go in <laughs> y'all see my double chin she <clears throat> but yeah i'm like not wearing a bra so i don't want y'all to see my butt but um yeah like anybody who knows me personally knows that i grinded 
like so much even before becoming a stripper like i used to work for doordash i used to do all this stuff and it honestly wasn't enough money you know as many hours as i picked up yeah the check would be a little bit bigger but taxes would take out like crazy you know and not only that it just was never enough and you know i'm literally just dancing now and i make like oh i'm gonna tell you guys how much i made saturday it be my first saturday at this new club but i'm gonna i'm gonna let you take a guess i'm gonna give you guys a few seconds okay guess how much i made i made not one thousand not two thousand but three thousand dollars three thousand dollars you guys well i made three thousand dollars but i walked out with maybe twenty five hundred after paying all the taxes all the taxes all the fees for the club and whatnot and tipping everybody out i believe i walked out with twenty five hundred yes um and i will show you guys that right now And I'm not showing you guys so I could be like, ah, oh, look at me, look at me, you know what I'm saying? No, I'm not like that because I've been through the struggle. I've been, you know, I've been fucking broke. And I'm just showing you guys because I know I have a lot of females on here. And I'm not telling you guys to, you know, join, like, what I'm doing, like, stripping and stuff. But I'm just saying, like, this took me out the mud, you know? As bogus as that sounds, like, it's the truth, you know? I worked my ass off the right way and i couldn't even survive off that shit you know um but yeah you know it is what it is and i don't regret my decision and i don't regret doing what i'm doing because honestly i know that i'm not doing anything bad or i'm not catching anything no sir but yeah you guys there's not really much to it you just gotta not care what people think about you you know like i'm over here doing me getting all this money by myself you know and money talks you guys money talks okay and i'm not the type to be like oh um gucci this chanel this like no you don't see me repping all that you know expensive attire because i mean i'm very humble and not only that like i like i said money talks and i'm saving my money so i can you know do big things with that and start big things with that you know I'm not saying you're not you're never gonna see me with like some chanel heels or something like that but for right now i really just want to save all my money and start something big because money talks and money goes a long way but at the same time like i don't want to get money now and then later on because you get like older you get like your face starts changing and stuff like that and right now i feel like i'm in my prime and when you're in your prime you got to do everything fast you know like Look at how bogus I look, bro. That's how y'all know. Like, that's how y'all know I really don't care what people think because I'm over here online and shit. Like, yay. No, but, um, I mean, I just got off. So don't touch me. No. But, yeah, you know, I want to start something big and I want to, you know, do this shit for my bro. You know, like, I want to do this shit for my little bro who isn't here anymore, but I want to fucking make him proud. Because, yeah, I'm gonna make him proud. I'm sorry, you guys. Like, I'm really fucking. I'm gonna stop. But, um, yeah, and I wanna leave something for my son, you know? Anything can happen, you know? Anything can happen. Life is crazy, and, you know, we don't know when our last day is gonna be, so I wanna start something now and leave something for my son because, you know? That's my goal. And I also want to stop renting out. Like, I wanted to get an apartment downtown, like, by Lakeshore. Like, something downtown, you know, like a little condo. But I used to have a friend who was a doctor. Like, he was a dentist. But he was also, like, a facial doctor. A face facial recon... I don't even know how to fucking say that. But, yeah, he was, like, a doctor as well. And he lived downtown, like, in south loop or something like that and he paid like two thousand something for an apartment um you know like in a nice condo or whatever but it was only one room and like it was pretty small and he had a view and stuff but it was like you know it's kind of like wasting money 
and also not only that like i hate climbing upstairs i hate because you know i'm a mom and i have always bags and bags on me so yeah that's just i live on the third floor right now and it's just a mission to even get up and down but yeah you guys we're gonna see where life takes me i really hope that you guys continue to follow my journey and yeah i really hope that you guys take what i said into consideration just not like become a stripper but just don't care what anybody says you know even if you're not even looking into this job my point is don't ever stop what you want to do because you think someone's going to bag on you basically you know because in this life Trust me, in this life, I mean, I'm only 25, but I feel like I've been through so much to tell you guys, like, do it. Do the damn thing. Do it broke. Do it hungry. Do it tired. Just fucking do it. Like. <sighs> but yeah, you guys, that is pretty much it. Um, I know I rambled too fucking much. Look, my dirty ass face too. Oh my God. I'm so embarrassed. Nah. All right, you guys, that is all for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.